Hi guys, welcome to DP Animations and today we are going to do a trailer explainer video. Okay, what I'm trying to say is uh, about the animation you saw earlier. Okay, so I was given this logo to design a trailer for a shop or spa that is going to be open soon. Okay, it should be something like a five seconds video and this is how I went about it, all right? Um, so status, I took the logo to Photoshop, all right? Then I used the magic wand, then selected all the faces, or hold the shift key, then selected all the faces of the logo, okay? All right, something like this. I think I took uh, the title too. Yeah, I took this one too. Let me off the black underneath it. So after this, I went to path, then convert it all into a work path as a mask. A masking logo, okay? So when you come here, when you off it, you see only the marks outline of the logo, okay? All right, so after this, I exported the file. I exported the file to Illustrator, path to Illustrator, okay? Let me just make it Pinado. Pinado logo. Okay, let me just save it. Okay. All right. When you see the animation, there, there was 3D involved. Initially, I could have used After Effect, but because I wanted to have that kind of 3D depth feel within it, now I decided to do the entire arrangement in Cinema 4D. So let me open Cinema 4D new. Okay, so with our Cinema 4D open, let's come to File, Merge Objects, then where we save it, Desktop, let's select it. Um, let's see, where is it? Inado. Okay, so here is it. Let's open it. Okay. So from here, what you do next is this. Maybe I want to animate this particular one, all right? So... I move this one out of the grouped. Let me off this one. Let me use this one for the example. All right. So this one, then I selected the extrude nerve. Okay. Then place it in. So let's see. So after that, what I did was the extrusion depth, I went zero. So zero. It's okay. Then let me switch to the front view, the front view here. Okay. Then I made hit C to make this editable. So I have this. So this is what I use for the animation. Okay. So I went in for the anchor point two, the azels two, then move it to position it where I want. So this side is where I want. Okay, so now let's see what we have. Let me see. Let me go back to the act active view. Let's see. Okay, so that's that. Now, from here, I set an ending key here, an ending key. Let's set an ending key. Then the beginning key, let's go zero, 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 zero. Then set it. So I want, when the animation is coming, when it reaches somewhere here, it blows up. So I'll go something like 1.2 or so. 1.2, 1.2, then set a key there. So you have something like this. You see that, how it came in sharp, then settled down slowly. Okay, so this is it. Then let me apply the material double click. The first one was a white material, so let me just use luminance. Then let me apply it. So this will be the base. Then I'll duplicate it. Then the second material will be the color, the actual color. So let me go maybe, let me give it a color of something like uh, this color, a dark orange. Okay. 
So let me apply it to it. Okay. So you have something like this. So that second one, the duplicated one, move the key points to something like the 10 frames per second so that when this one comes, it follows. Okay. But actually, what I did was, after creating everything for the base, what I did was, I grouped the, the base, the white base separately. I went to objects, then select group objects. Okay. So from here, I group it separately, then name this one white. Then group the colored one also color. Okay, so what I did was this. First, uh, the white comes, then the, the actual color. So I move it forward the bits so that it will not merge with the white. So you see, you see that? So that's that. So that's how I did for the animation. Then the, let's see. The 3D is actually simple. The 3D one, the text coming in is just 3D actual text coming in. So let me see. Let's go back. Let me view. So you see, these ones, these ones are just spheres coming in. Okay. Because when you see the logo, there are balls around it. You see these balls? That's it. So while this is animating, the balls are also coming in. Let me, let me, where is the camera? The camera that I use to animate. Okay, so this is the camera. You see? Once it's coming, the balls are also coming in. Then the logo, the actual logo, the ring, you see, animated the rings. I use rotation on the rings. This ring, it's only one actually. It's only one ring. It's only one ring, but yeah, it's only one ring. But I use two in my animation. Okay, I use two in my animation. So when the logo settles down, the actual logo color will reveal. So you see this. And this, that as for the test, it's just the, uh, what's the name? Random effects, then delay. Okay. It's simple, actually. So after this, I rendered the file, then took it into after effects. Okay. Then added the rest of these things. You see? I added the particles. All right, then they're coming soon. Simple. You see how simple it is? All right. Okay, guys, so this is the end of the explainer video. And if you want me to explain it step by step by doing the actual animation and everything, please let me know. Okay, so see you next time.